What's up, everybody? It's your boy Officer D back in another video. Before we get started, don't forget go ahead and like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, I'm back. It is 2023. New year, you know what that means. That means that some people are coming of age this year, or some of those disqualifications are going away. It's a new year. So we're going to talk about how you become a police officer now in 2023. All right, so not much has changed, but we're going to give a few more tips and hope to set you on the right track so you can know how to get started, all right? So first things first is make sure this is something that you want to do. Don't go into this blindly, man. Don't go into it just thinking you can do it just off the wind. You got to put some research into it. Make sure your heart is in it. Make sure this is something that you want to do. So what I mean by research is research your body cam videos. There's a lot of them out there. Put yourself in that officer situation. Could you do what that officer did? And don't just look at the shootings, all right? Shootings don't happen often. Those are important to watch, but also important to watch those domestics. Just those ordinary cost of service that, you know, usually if the body cameras release, something happened, but just see if you can handle those situations. See if your heart's in it. You know yourself better than anybody. So if you know you can't handle some things or your patience ain't good enough or your, your anger skills ain't where it need to be, don't need to worry about it. But anyway, if you think you got what it takes, and let me tell you how to get started, all right? All right, so the first thing you want to do is to find the right department for you. All right, don't just go to a department because it's the first department that hired you or the closest one to you. Like, some things got to make sense first. Research a department. Don't go somewhere and be miserable and you only just went to one place, all right? Do some research on that department. And yeah, I'm saying again, research. You should put a lot of time in researching, all right? For real. Don't go into this blindly. You know the first part already. You're watching the video, so hey. You got it. You got it. But look at the website. Look at their pay and benefits. Now, if you like me, some of the benefit talking ain't gonna make too much sense. All right, that's what's meant for somebody else. I went into I went into it blindly with the benefits thing. I ain't out there. Sign me up. <laughs> but look at the pay. You could be one city, the next city, next door is offering like ten thousand dollars more. Money don't buy everything, but it can it can help out. So look at the pay. Is the pay gonna work for you? A lot of places will have their hiring process on the website. Look at the hiring process. Look at the disqualifiers. That's important. All right. If you see something on the disqualifying list that you know you qualify for, like like you couldn't smoke weed in the past two years and you did it, then why are you continuing? <laughs> like, come on. Now, those are pretty generic sometimes. There are There is a wiggle room. So I would call the recruiter. If this is somewhere you really want to go, call the recruiter and just ask. But sometimes it's really not worth the gamble because the recruiter can say one thing, but then he gets to the chief desk to sign off on it. And he'd be like, nah. I'm not going to do that. We got rules for a reason. So make sure you're looking at that. The higher process and the squad fires. The higher process will kind of let you know how long it's going to take. It's pretty much going to take four months. Make sure you can wait that amount of time. Let me tell you. It'll suck to wait that long just to figure out you ain't get the job because you got one of those squad fires on there. <laughs> just last month, I had a friend. Actually, it was this month. Tell, apply for my department. All right. And bro, to a, a nice school, good GPA, but he just couldn't stay at that disqualifying list. And he gonna tell me, he was like, I just would have thought me having, you know, a good GPA, I went to a good school, I would get in. I'm like, bro, you get like six tickets in like three months. No. <laughs> and then you just smoked weed months ago. No. Ain't nobody taking you, bro. And he applied to several places. Ain't nobody gonna take you. Nobody's gonna take you. Look at that disqualifying list. Don't apply knowing that you just did some on disqualifying list. Because, I mean, come on now. So, it's important to look at it. If you know that you, it's going to take three more months from the last time you did something to, for you to qualify, wait those months. Don't don't waste your time applying. All right, so once you go through your departments that you would like to work for, pick out the best ones and do a ride along. Please don't skip the ride along. Because their website ain't going to tell you everything. So they ain't going to put the bad stuff on the website. All right, do some ride alongs. Plural. Don't just do one and then be like, all right, this is it. That, that ain't how I go. All right, do more than one. On those ride-alongs, you'll be able to see things that will help you make the decision. For instance, you get in the car and everything's beat up, the computer beat up, the software is a mess. They complain because they got to go to five different things to do one thing. Like, it's crazy. In some places, you might can't help it. You may work, you may live somewhere where it's just like, you know, everywhere is like that. In which case, you know. It just is what it is. But if you got a choice, I want to work somewhere where the technology ain't going to be what's holding me back. I don't want to be driving down the street and the Wi-Fi just go out out of nowhere. Like every time you turn on the street, that's crazy. Or you got to go into five different programs 
just to figure out like it's crazy all right so look at the tech look at their equipment stuff if you see something another agency got right beside you ask why they ain't got it pay attention to the call load okay is this call load something you think you can handle they going to call to call to call to call can you keep up all right or do you need an apartment that's a little slower pace get a call you get a break get a call you get a break that pace can work better for some people and there's nothing wrong with that like to me i like a good pace but i also like to do proactive stuff and if you work at an agency where there's like just call 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 when can you do proactive stuff? I like a balance. Supervision. Try to keep an eye on that. All right. You notice sometimes, and they only really got to say you just pay attention to some stuff. Like if your officer that you're riding with and another officer are meeting up somewhere, and they got to hurry off, and they say something start like, "Oh, supervisor about to come catch us together" or something like that. Don't need to worry about it. Find somebody else to do it. All right. You know you don't want to go there. All right. You don't need to be micromanaged. Micromanaging is not good. If I wanted to go talk to my buddy, we're going to talk till we, till we can't talk no more. <laughs> nah, we're going to talk to a call come out, but I don't need the supervisor being the one being like, nah, it can't be excessive. I'm getting off on a tangent here. I just remember. You do have some professional parking lot sitters. You don't want that. Sometimes supervisors do need to intervene. The majority of the times, you know, you should be able to pull over and talk with your buddy for a little bit. And then ask some questions about city council. The city council approve of the police and what they're doing and their mission or not. If they don't, you already know you're going to have some challenges. Just keep that in mind. It's not 100% of the reason to cut the department off, but you just know that if you go to do a ride along with another department who don't have those same problems with city council, that might be where I go. All right, so after you do your ride alongs, then you can pick which department you want to go to. And I say ride alongs even if you do more than one but one department. All right, because doing more ride alongs with the same department, if they like you, they'll start passing your name around. All right, and they'll go to the recruiter like, hey, this, this dude seemed pretty good. I think you'd be I think you'd be good to hire. All right. I did that before. So ride along. It's very important in the process. Don't skip that step for real. All right. And after you do that, it's time to apply. Some departments will have it where you can apply online. Okay, like my department, you applied online, very short application. I was like, damn, this is quick. I didn't want to expect to be that quick. I got an email back the next morning. It was like, here's the packet to print out and turn it in when you're finished. I'm like, packet. I download it. It's like 50 pages. I thought I got out good. I thought I had it made. Nah, that's just a short application. But some departments, you may not be able to do it online. You have to go in and get the application and turn it back in. So check online. All right, a lot of information is online. I'm be calling a recruiter for every little thing, man. Look online. Eat. So you got your application in. The next question will be, what are some of the steps you got to wait for? Like I told you, pretty much going to be waiting for four to six months. You are not going to be able to rush that process. All right, I remember I was going pretty good. Like they sent me something. I had it taken care of like the next day and I was hitting it back. I was like, all right, we're off to a good pace. And then we got to that damn polygraph test and it was like, we can't get you scheduled till next month. I'm like, come on, man. I was doing so good. And now you're going to have me wait a whole month before I do anything. Like, that's crazy. But I had to wait a month and that just is what it is. You, you can't rush it. But I just submit your application. You're going to have to do an overboard at some point, your written test, PT stuff, polygraph, your health checkup. What else you got? Psychological exam. Stuff like that. I did a video just on that. So check that out. But it's going to be a lengthy process, man. It's not something that can be rushed through. They got to their time. Just a heads up. In case you don't go to that other video. Polygraph. The overboard. Be honest. Don't wait to that polygraph to come up and admit some stuff that you should admit admitted from the beginning. You're going to be out the door. But that's it, man. Do research on where you want to go. All right. Pitch in departments. Do ride-alongs at those departments. And then you decide where you want to be at. All right. Don't go applying just willy-nilly because... A lot of times in that F3 packet, you got to put on there where else you apply to. If you're applying everywhere, anybody taking you, they start looking at you like, what's wrong? What's going on? But that does not mean that it's wrong to apply to more than one place because like what happened to a friend who went through was my department was taking a little too long, but the other department was ready to hire her. So she contacted my department was like, look, they about to hire me, but what, what's the word? And they kind of sped it up a little bit. Uh, so nothing wrong with doing more than one. one. One might take you faster than the other one. That just is what it is. But that's it, man. This is something you think you want to do, do it. But put in the work, make sure it's something that you want to do. It's a lot of time wasted if this ain't something you want to do. Right now, it's like a lot of people coming through field training and then they're realizing they don't want to do it or, that, or this ain't the department for them. It's too fast paced. You're dropping like flies. So make sure this is something you want to do. Don't waste your time. But anyway, that's it for this video, man. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. See you next time.